Hi, friends. So I decided to jump on this side of the camera since I really want to do a couple of live streams this month as part of my 31 Days series. And as an introvert, that is a huge deal. So I thought some baby steps would be in order. Today's question is, should I always include insurance on the packages I send from my Etsy shop? So this is kind of a bigger question than it sounds because there's some underlying things here that need to be understood. Uh, the first thing is that I see a lot of buyers, I'm sorry, a lot of sellers putting in their policies, I can't be responsible for packages once I ship them. Because in their view, it's like one start on my hands, it's the USPS's responsibility, I can't control what they do. Well, it's true, you can't control what they do. It's not true that you're not responsible for the package once it leaves your hands. A couple different things could happen. If the package is never delivered, the customer could, could file a claim. If they pay with PayPal and file a claim, you actually have to show proof of delivery, not just mailing it. So if you can't show proof of delivery, then PayPal is going to refund that customer and you're gonna be out that money. Uh, with Etsy, if you your purchase or your what you've sold qualifies for Etsy seller protection because you followed those guidelines. If you can show proof that you mailed it, uh, from what I understand, I haven't had to go through the process with Etsy, but from what I understand, most of the time Etsy is going to side with the seller if you can prove that you mailed it. However, customer service is a huge issue here. If you place an order online, let's say you order a bunch of uh, clothing from Kohl's or something, and it never shows up, you don't want to contact Kohl's and just have them say, oh, I'm sorry, we sent it. There's nothing more we can do because you're out that money. And so as a consumer, you want to make sure that you have received what you ordered. And it's no different for our customers. So good customer service is going to replace the item or refund it or work out something to the satisfaction of the customer when something like that happens. You don't want to just say, sorry, I mailed it with tracking. There's nothing more I can do. So what you want to do is look at the cost of your items and, and decide if it's worth insuring, first of all. Um, if you sell a bunch of five to $10 items, that extra cost of insurance can really add up when you look at the percentage of the item cost that it is. So you may not want to insure every package because it's not going to be very often that one is lost. If you sell really big ticket items, you might want to consider adding that insurance because the insurance cost is small compared to the price of those items. But another option that I think probably works the best for most sellers is to self-insure. And that basically just means you set aside a part of your budget, your business budget, to cover the cost of occasionally having to replace or refund an order that's lost. One thing is if it's marked delivered, but the customer never receives it, um, if you, from what I understand, if you have purchased the third-party insurance, the UPIC insurance from Etsy, they will cover it if it's not received and it says delivered. Um, and so the whole point of this is that insurance is for you as a seller. It is not for the buyer. So if you purchase insurance through the USPS and it says not delivered, um, I mean, sorry, if it says delivered, they are not going to cover it. They're gonna say, sorry, we delivered it. But if you purchase the UPIC insurance, it says delivered, but the customer files a claim and they say they did not receive it, then if you have to replace or refund, you will get that money reimbursed from UPIC. So I hope that helps clear up some of those issues regarding insurance, who it's for, and how those kinds of things are handled when a package is lost or says it's delivered, but it's not really. Have a great day.